Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're gonna be taking my second six star to rank two. And if you've watched my previous opening of a six star, you already know who it's gonna be. And it's going to be Ghost. She is awesome. She does not need to be awakened. And she is the most worthy tech that I have as a six star. Now I also have a guillotine 2099 who's also worthy of taking up to rank two. And I was gonna do it, but not over ghost. No way. All right, now one thing about ghost when she is not awakened, uh, she won't start the fight phased and she won't gain power when they miss while she is phased that's really it okay and what this is going to allow me to do you can see i have the uh, generic one to two i don't have enough tech uh, to even take her up to two if i wanted to but that rank up gem right there she's worth it definitely worth the rank up She's also now one of the six stars that I would love to get awakened. Omega Red and now Ghost would not mind getting the dupe uh, on the six star version of either of them. Now, I already have Ghost as a five star, rank five, SIG 200. So she's still gonna be my main Ghost to use. But having two, allows me to perhaps bring her into one of the other game modes. Maybe I'll start bringing her uh, with me in Alliance Quest. Maybe uh, she'll find a place in Alliance War, but we'll see. But I have a ghost and going forward, I'm set. Ghost has always been one of my favorite champions to play ever since I got her and started practicing and learning how to play her. And now, the only six star of the Ghost Trinity that I don't have is the Hood. I have, as you can see here, I have Wasp as a six star. I even have Ant-Man as a six star. Although Ant-Man is not part of the uh, Trinity there. But now, when I do finally start focusing more on my six star team, I already have one of the best, most versatile champions in the game. Hopefully, Kabam will not do anything to her to change that fact. But you never know. For now, I'm very happy to take her up to rank two. And uh, if I were to get a tech T5 class catalyst, I would not have a problem taking her to rank three. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how that goes. All right. So now we're going to go into Realm of Legends. It's going to be a very short fight. Uh, I am going to be making a video eventually on how to play Ghost. I promised someone on the stream that I would make a video on how to play Ghost. And uh, so I don't want to get into too much detail this is just to show her you know off a little bit but since i already have the 565 version of her uh and you guys if you've watched my videos you know that i take her all the time questing uh if you've watched any of my act six videos you see me using her there all the time uh so uh this is something that i often do uh when i want to farm realm of legends uh ghost this is not a good matchup for ghost in terms of practicing ghost the reason being the ai in realm of legends tends to be more passive and so you know there's a lot of people and i'll mention it in the video uh that will go into realm of legends to practice don't do that uh, it's terrible practice because that AI does not fight 
aggressively enough for you to get your rotations down and you know learn and get that timer in your head because that's really what you're doing when you're practicing with ghost that phase timer uh, notice how many times and you can go back and watch it that uh, Winter Soldier times his special so that it will end before rather after my phase ends so if I don't block or evade I'll get hit okay and the AI does that quite often and in the end here we were having network issues I'm glad we were able to at least get it done all right but that's gonna do it for this video guys uh, leave a comment let me know what you thought about the video and you all have a blessed day